I ask myself what it means to be one of the Dark Angels. It is to be the honored First Legion, the Emperor's Wrath, the Sons of the Lion. We've got anger on the Demon Primarch coming back, and there's rumors that Lionel Johnson is also coming back. Who is he? Where did he go? And what's the impact of him coming back? Lionel Johnson was named so by the leader of the Knight's Order that found him. The Chaos Powers had taken him from the Emperor and left him on a feudal world of Caliban. This was a warp infested world with Chaos Beasts terrorizing the humans that live there. They had defenders though, the Knightly Orders, groups with technology similar to power armor and bolt guns, and their leader, the greatest of them, Luther, found and adopted the Lion as his own son. It didn't take long for the Lion to rise as the leader and unite the Orders in eradicating the Chaos Beasts. His true father, the Emperor, discovered and reunited him with his Space Marines First Legion, later renamed the Dark Angels. Lionel Johnson was the first Primarch, and he was greeted with warmth and respect from the Emperor. In fact, he was one of the only Primarchs to move directly into leading his Legion. He then went on to massive success in the Crusades, rivaling all the other Primarchs, all the time with the help of his second-in-command Luther, who had undergone genetic manipulation to join the Astarte ranks, being too old to receive the Gene Seed. Over time and through Crusades, Luther became increasingly jealous of the Lion, and after being banished back to the homeworld to do a recruiting job for the Legion, his disaffection grew. He was a prime target for the Chaos to turn, and in fact, with the news of Horus's turning from the Emperor, he himself declared he would no longer follow the Emperor, and essentially created a split in the Legion, corrupting those on the homeworld. Meanwhile, in the galaxy doing the Emperor's bidding, the Lion was a loyal Primarch and got stuff done. He was close guarded with his opinions and beliefs and some saw this as a little suspect. He's also been known to deliberately disobey the Emperor, going against the Council of Nikea's ruling against Psychus, for instance. When attacked in the warp by demons, he ordered his librarians to fight. He even killed his own chief librarian for objecting, just so he could save his legion. His loyalty was unwavering, however, and we later know that everyone disobeyed that ruling during the Siege of Terror, when demon incursions were rife. Even when Kairos Fateweaver, a greater demon of Zeech, a lord of change, tried to turn him to chaos, he instead killed him. Even with his power of foresight, it didn't stop the lion from stabbing him. Another time, Conrad Kurz tried to turn him, with equal failure. The two duelled and both left with injuries, and after tracking Kurz, hunting him down, all the way to McCrag, both he and Gilliman tried to stop him without success. What this did do was cause both the lion and Gilliman to arrive late to the Siege of Terror. They provided reinforcements, but the lion was unable to change the outcome of the Emperor being struck down and placed on the Golden Throne. Leaving Terror grief-stricken, it wasn't until returning to his homeworld that the Lion discovered the treachery of Luther and how far he had fallen to chaos. An all-out planetary bombardment was started to wipe out the taint and then the land assault on the great temples which were too well protected. This was where the Lion and Luther met and battled, but with his chaos power they were well-matched and battled apocalyptically. Their blows and combat destroyed the temple around them. And in the end, Luther gained the upper hand, striking down Lionel Johnson. And just before bringing down the fatal blow, he looked into the face of his adopted son and realised what he had done. Chaos's grip weakened, and the killing blow never came. On losing their champion, the Chaos Power sent a warp storm to the planet. Already weakened by bombardments, this caused it to break apart. This is the end of his homeworld, but it is unknown what actually happened to Lionel Johnson. When the Dark Angels came to retrieve their Primark, they only found Luther. He was mumbling about the lion being taken by the Watchers in the Dark, and that's as much as we know now. The Watchers in the Dark are a native race of Caliban, small in stature, and you might have seen them modelled in the game. It is thought that they have taken the lion to their mobile fortress monastery called the Rock, and there he still lies until he returns. Luther was also taken and held prisoner at the Rock, so the thought is the Dark Angels are keeping the lion safe, hidden and secret from everyone. The remaining traitorous Dark Angels managed to escape into the warp and still fight under the name The Fallen. In more recent history, there was a demon incursion of the rock and Luther was freed. Likely, he's now heading up The Fallen and it is said that they're gathering in legion-sized strength. This could be one of the biggest narrative events to happen in 40k. You can look and see where the lion is in any codex that has a galaxy map. In fact, the lion is just there. The big question though, what will happen to the Imperium? How will he work with Gilliman or not work with him? He is a loner and feels he should have been the War Master. This could give some great storylines and be a big shake-up. The Dark Angels will get a new codex, new nice models like the Black Templars did. I'd also expect the Fallen to get viable rules to play, likely in the same codex. That's a really interesting idea. And of course, a new Primark sculpt. See you soon. Bye.